That's the second time you mentioned the name Mary. Really? I hadn't, uh, hadn't really noticed. But I do need to sort these out. I'll do it. Okay. The first time you asked me if my name was Mary, a minute ago you called me Mary. Well, I, um, I probably got my M's mixed up, you know, Mary, Michelle, that sort of thing. Well, now that we've sorted that out, <laughs> who was she? Someone special in your life? You are the only person in the world to me. And we share the same dreams and the same thoughts and... Well... <laughs> what? <laughs> You're grinning from ear to ear. What? I have something to tell you. <laughs> and I've been waiting, and I've been waiting for the perfect time to say it. And I think it's now. Well, don't keep me in suspense. What? Well, it's about us. And... Our family. I don't want to talk about no, no, my no, family. No, no. Shh, shh. Not your family. Our family. You and me. Well, that's different. I could talk about you and me all evening. Well, I was hoping that if you like my idea, we could do more than that all evening. Hmm, this is sounding better by the minute. What did you have in mind? It's something that you've had in mind for a long time now. Let's have a baby. Oh, Michael, it's mm. simply too mm. fine a man. I know he couldn't have set you up. So you keep saying. Well, why can't you take my word for it? You really want me to answer that? You could just take it on faith. You know what, Aunt Alex? I wish I could. I, I really do. I wish I had your faith in my younger brother, but I don't. And you know why I don't? Because everything, including this letter that Amanda has just produced, points straight to him. Amanda, I would like some time alone so that I can think. Yes. I imagine you would. You might begin by thinking about how much you owe me. Why is that? Because I got you off the hook, Father. Philip will never suspect you again. I proved your innocence. When we both know you're guilty of sin. That's preposterous. Now that was a perfect Alan Spalding response. Didn't even blink. <laughs> Where did you get such a ridiculous idea? This letter. Yes, I saw the letter, and it says the opposite of what you're saying right now, that I am not the A. Spaulding that set up Philip. Look again, Father. I don't understand. The letter you pulled out in Ella Michael's office cleared my name. That's because I doctored it. This is the original. It says that Alan Michael's name is cleared, but not yours. All I had to do was delete the Michael after the Alan. What the letter actually says is that Alan Michael rejected Neil's offer to take Philip down. Neil then goes on to say that he went to the next Spalding member. Did you want to hear more? I gather you're going to tell me anyway. It was you, Father. You set up Philip. This portion of Guiding Light is presented by Mountain Grown Folgers Coffee, the best part of waking up. Amanda, even if your supposition is true, and I'm not saying that it is, why would you create such a document that would not only implicate Alan Michael, but yourself as well? This isn't about me. You're right. It is not about you. It is about my sons, and I would tell you to stay out of it. But I did this for you, to save you. That makes no sense. Father, it makes perfect sense. Philip was bound to find out sooner or later. You were in this so deep, there's no way you could rescue yourself. I could, and I did. So, to save me, you throw Alan Michael to the wolves. Is that it? 
Well, I don't understand. Why would you do something like it that? It wasn't long ago that Alan Michael humiliated me in public. Oh, I see. So now it's payback time. Is you know, that it? To tell you the truth, I wasn't even thinking about Alan Michael. I was thinking about you. The point here is, Father, that I love you enough to go the distance for you. I'm not sure Alan Michael or Philip would do the same. I have never once asked for your help, Amanda. Yeah, well, see, that's the difference between me and your sons, Father. You don't need to ask. I'm already there. Why? 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 Because I love you. Oh, uh, how many times have I had to tell you I can't seem to get it through to you? So I decided to show you to prove my love, and that's exactly what I did. I've told you countless times how I value you. You are my daughter, and you always will be in my life, Amanda. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you say a hell of a lot more to your sons. You even look at them differently. You see the look in your eyes when one of them walks into a room. Maybe now you look at me like that. I, I, I just really don't want to hear this again. Yeah, well, I wish it didn't have to come down to this, Father, but it did. Oh, I've been fighting for your approval for months. I, I've tried to think of every possible thing I could do to earn it, and you have rejected every single attempt. Well, you can't do that now. You need my help way too much. And I'm giving it to you. Gladly, with all of my love and my loyalty. I told you that I would do anything for you, Father. Now, do you believe me? And I know, deep in my soul, that Alan Michael couldn't have done it. I know it's... He could you, never have framed you. You just don't want to believe it, that's all. Neither do I. He's my younger brother. But think about it for a second. Just, just step away from it for a second and think. Remember how he treated me when I showed up at the wedding in Florida? Remember the look on his face? Remember what he said to me? Well, to, honestly, I mean, you show up on the day of his wedding after all this time, anyone would be in a little state of shock. He told me to get the hell out. On Alex, he never wanted to see me again. Now, I'm sorry, but that happens to fit with Amanda's letter. Well, that doesn't prove anything to me. Well, there have been lots of other incidents since I got back to Springfield. Uh, and you know what amazes me the most is that I've been going out of my way to try not to threaten him, either he, uh, at home or here at Spalding. Oh, come, Philip, Phil, Phil, come on. You're his successful, oh. handsome, old, smart brother, for heaven's sakes. That's enough to intimidate any little girl. It's more than that and you know it, Aunt Alex. He doesn't want me here. He doesn't want me in the family, and he really doesn't want me here in the business. Come on, come on. I wish you'd look at it just a little bit from his perspective. I have, Aunt Alex. He's king of the mountain, and he doesn't want to lose that. And he has worked his tail off to keep this company together. Let me tell Oh, he has rebuffed several takeover attempts to get control. Your father, me, and even Nick. Fine. That's all the more reason why he'd never want to see no, me again. No, your brother just isn't that kind of man. Oh, because right. we fought him like crazy and he forgave us. And he's, oh, he's just turned the other cheek, right? And that's what you're suggesting I should do. Yes, it takes a big man to forgive his enemies. Yeah, especially when they're all in the family. Oh. Alex, look, 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 I, I, don't, I don't hold it against Alan Michael that he's fighting for what he thinks he believes in, but, but you know what? He is not this loving, forgiving soul that you seem to think he is. Alan, he's, he's been through so much. And I... Haven't we all, Aunt Alex? All right, I just can't stand to see the two of you at each other's throats well, like what do you What do you want me to do, Aunt Alex? Seriously, what, what do you suggest that I do? I believe that five years ago, he tried to get rid of me. I don't think he's ever going to admit that, but I believe he tried to do it nonetheless. So now he has put himself in a position where he has to defend his position any way he can. And unfortunately, let me finish, so do I. All right, right. This is impossible. We're not going to settle anything here tonight. Oh, no. how? Well, you know what? I knew if we stood around here long enough, right we would here. agree on something. You know, neither one of you is willing to admit it, but you are brothers and you two love each oh, other. Oh, you see, you know, you got to get the last word in, don't you? You always have to get the last word in. Because you said that you wanted a family more than anything, right? So I figured right now was a perfect time. Oh, and I do. I think you would be the most amazing mother. And we would have incredible children. <laughs> I dream of the day I can take my little son or daughter and to work with me, you know, and put him or her on my lap and say, see this kid, all this, I built it for you. That's what your father said to you. No. My father is different. He said it, but he didn't mean it. When I say it, I will mean it. And I will never, ever go back on my word. Come on. 
Let's go. Let's go make babies. <laughs> Listen, I am fighting for my life right now, Lucy. I, I couldn't give you or the baby the attention you deserve. Why? All we want is you. And you deserve all of me, all of my love, all of my focus, all of my help. I couldn't give you that right now. Do you understand? You're disappointed. I just wonder if, if people ever really know when the right time is. And you can let time pass and, and things get in the way. Do you know what it means to me that you want to have my child? It is the most wonderful gift anyone in this world has ever given to me. Then let me. Let me give it to you. It would be great if we could put our lives in neat little piles, everything in its proper place. Well, that might be kind of boring, don't you think? Yeah, I guess. I didn't mean to be nosy before. Well, that's okay. I can, I can handle it. If you wanted to tell me about Mary, you would have, right? Besides, who needs to talk about ancient history? It's a drag, old boyfriends, old girlfriends. Who cares? Well, um, some people do. Yeah, well, whoever she was, the first girl you kissed or the love of your life, it's, it's none of my business. It's, it's no big deal, really. Exactly. I'm embarrassed I brought it up. Well, don't be. What? Mary, is she a big part of your life right now? Where's your shadow? What? You know, the guy with the hair, the horn. Uh, he's with his dad. Oh, that's right. How is, how is he? Griffin Williams? Yeah. He's actually much better. They just uh, released him from the hospital. I think Marcus just wants to spend as much time with him as he can, you know? Yeah, sure. You gotta admit, the guy is pretty cool. Yeah, he is. He really is. So what's up? How are you? Uh, I'm doing pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm hot. It's kind of a warm night. You want to go for a swim? Oh, no, I don't think so. I should probably get back to the... Wait, the dog. A, a burger? Let me, let me cook you a burger, huh? I just, I gotta thank you for le helping me pass this test, really. Well, I'm glad if I helped. Well, no, it's about it. It was like you were there with me throughout the entire test. Well, I'm glad everything worked out. It did. It worked out great. You were, like, sitting on my shoulder, whispering answers <laughs> into my ear, and, and it was like I had my own cheering section. Okay. I'm gonna get back to No, 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 wait, it. don't wait. I know you think that I'm, like, full of hot air. I'm not. It's, this is perhaps one of the greatest moments of my life. Getting into college is, it, it's a dream. I don't know. I mean, I, I've always wanted to get a good education and follow in the, in the footsteps of my grandfather and my father, and, and here it is. It's a dream come true because of you. Well, it's nice to know dreams do come true sometimes, Only right? because of you, because of you. Right. Well, you know what? I am kind of hungry. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. All right, cool. Hey, first, some guys are setting off some Roman candles a little bit later on, and I know the best place to watch them from. Okay. What do you say? This way, after you. Okay. Sorry. I had this terrible habit of just kind of putting my foot in my mouth. Oh, you mean because you asked me about Mary? Don't worry about it. It's too late. Listen, Mary isn't now, and she never was my girlfriend. Oh. Anyway, I should never open my mouth about anything. <laughs> Stop it, okay? I mean, how are you ever going to get to know anybody if you don't ask them some questions once in a while? You're just trying to make me feel better. No, I'm not. As a matter of fact, I want to ask you a few questions. I would like to know a little bit more about Michelle Bauer, you know, what she's all about. You would? I would. Well, I don't know where to start. Well, how about 
The beginning, the middle, anywhere you want. I don't know. Come on, it's easy. All I have to do is finish this sentence. My name is Michelle Bauer, and I'm... I don't know. <laughs> okay, you're being way too shy. All you have to do is say, I'm Michelle Bauer, and I'm... Kind of boring. <laughs> you're not boring. And if you are, I'll tell you. We have a deal. Deal. Amanda, that was a magnanimous gesture that you did, and I'm, I'm deeply moved. But I think, I think you went too far. I'd go further if I had to. No, it was a mistake. You used very poor judgment. How can you say that? We must correct this as soon as possible. Uh, I, I don't understand. Look, I would rather Philip suspect all of us than Alan Michael alone. Why? Because I am his father, and I want to protect him. That is why. Yeah, but Alan Michael doesn't give a damn about That's you. That's not the point. I set up this rivalry between Alan Michael and Philip many years ago. I pitted them against each other, and it's gotten out of hand now, and I've got to stop it. Yeah, but th that's all settled now, Father. Alex and Philip think that Alan Michael did it. Just leave it like that. Philip never has to know. But I will know. I made a horrible blunder five years ago, and I have regretted it ever since. I can't rectify the problem this way, Amanda. I can't allow Philip to blame Alan Michael for something he did not do. I, I'm not going to lose both of my sons. But you told me that you already lost Alan Michael. But don't you see? This is my chance to win them both back. I was a miserable father to both of them. Well, they survived. You must have done something, right? That's not enough. My father did this to Alex and me. And I swore that I would never do this to my children, and I have done it in even a bigger way. The only thing that you have ever done to Philip and Alan Michael is love them. I have withheld so much from them. So many times I wanted to tell them how, how much they meant to me, how proud I was of them. And when I would open my mouth, the only thing that would come out were criticisms, demands, orders. And worse than that, I had all the answers. I could make it sound as if I was taking one brother's side against the other. Yeah, and now you're taking their side against mine. Now, Amanda, listen. Philip came back here for one reason. The same reason that I came back here after prison. To, to rediscover who I was. To find out where I came from. To surround myself with people that loved me no matter if I was a failure or a success. Now, we have got to give Philip that. We've got to settle this another way. Yeah, well, I try to do it my way. You don't like it, it's in your hands now. All I can say, Father, is that the only way you are going to get out of this is by telling Philip the truth. Come in, come in, please. Can I uh, get you a drink? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, nothing for me. <clears throat> uh, Dad, uh, I, uh, I want to apologize for considering you a suspect. Amanda, Alex, if you don't mind... Uh... Uh, leaving you alone for a moment, of course not, darling. I'm delighted I can without worrying about you killing one another, do we, dear? <laughs> well, we... I want to have a private conversation with your son. It's so nice to see you both together like this. Let's go, darling. I gave you a gift. I'd think long and hard before I refused it. Son, there's uh, no other way to say this. But I have done you a great disservice. We'll have it all, Lucy, I promise. Just give me six months and we'll talk about it again.
There's that look again. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to have one now? Think about it. We're healthy now. We're happy. We're together. I know, and I would like it to remain that way. Well, why wouldn't it? So you were there in the office today, and you saw what happened. Amanda with her letter. Philip convinced that I set him up. Alex sputtering and not taking my side. Father taking it all in, his very silence making things worse. It was a nightmare. And unfortunately, I'm not going to wake up tomorrow and find out that it's over. I know, I know, and I hated it, too. And Philip is convinced I set him up. He wants to believe the absolute worst about me. And he's just going to dig his heels in and fight me even harder than he already is. Are you sure? I, he didn't look any happier about it than you no, did. It's the only way my family knows how to act with one another. And the bottom line is Philip doesn't trust me. But thank goodness you do. At least you know I'm not capable of doing what he said I did. I have a lot of faith in you, and I will. And Philip, now and forever. But Philip doesn't. I'm not sure now if he ever did. Yeah, well... I'll get up and I'll tell the world that <laughs> you didn't do anything and nobody, nobody likes to mess with Lucy Cooper when she's mad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to mess with Lucy Cooper any old time. <laughs> <laughs> when I was growing up, we came here a lot for picnics. It was fun. And sometimes when things got heavy, we'd come too. When there were problems. Yeah. Mom would say things like, the only thing that dispels darkness is light. And Dad would launch into some story and tell us to watch for life signals the way sailors used to watch for the signal from this place. All that good stuff. I miss it. I miss them. Sounds like you had a lot of good times. A lot of laughs. Yeah. <laughs> what? It was a family joke. When I was real little, I used to say, I'm going out to the back front or front backyard. I never knew which was which. Which all goes to show I still don't know where I'm going. Well, whatever door you went out, you managed to get yourself to Europe, right? Yes. That was after Eve died. Dad adored her. She was great, too. I wasn't very nice to her at first. Thought she was trying to take Mom's place. But, of course, she wasn't. She taught me a lot. Really? Like, uh, like what? How do I put it? That, um, you love different people different ways. That loving one person doesn't take away from loving another. After she died, Dad was in a bad place, and that's when I decided to go to school in Europe. And he said it was okay, and I figured he needed to work through things without a teenager in the house. Well, were you right? It seemed to have worked for him. Well, how did, uh, how did Europe work for you? Oh, uh, better than I ever dreamed it would be. It was the best thing I ever did. Listen to me. I haven't talked so much about myself in a long time. <laughs> Remember our deal. Now, if I get bored, I'll, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll wave a flag or something. Okay. Where was I? <laughs> oh, okay, Europe, 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 Europe. Um, I felt like a dunce at school. That was Switzerland. Everybody there knew like two or three languages and all I could do was mumble along and try to fake it with my two semesters of high school French. You have no idea how many jambon sandwiches I ordered. <laughs> I still can't stand ham. <laughs> so, uh, so French gave you a little bit of a problem. But... Oh, mais oui, but it was worth it. Especially Paris. C'est magnifique. Well, it sounded pretty good. Well, I got pretty good at it, too. Hmm. Well, um... Why don't you tell me a little more about Paris? Um, I feel that's where I grew up. Yeah, well, I heard Paris can do that to people. Yeah, well, that's what everybody said when I came back. Oh, is that little Michelle? You've grown up. I hate it when people do that. I take it you, um, you got involved while you were over there? Me? Involved? No way. No, I mean, not really. No, I just See, didn't. see? You're not the only one with foot and mouth disease. <laughs> it's okay. I don't mind your questions. <laughs> I should have brought a flashlight. You sure this is okay, right? Oh, it's perfect. It's a perfect place. Oh, well, how about that? Somebody got here first. Michelle, fancy meeting you here. Well, it just goes to show that great minds think alike. 
Jay Chamberlain, besides beating me to the punch. His name is Zachary. Um, yeah, this is Dahlia. Dahlia, this is Zachary. Hey. And, um, uh, you know Michelle? Hey, Michelle. Hey. Well, here we are. What a surprise. Surprise? Yeah, right, Jay. <laughs> Well, it, uh, looks like someone's doing a lot of work on the place. Zachary's doing it. Right. I bet you, uh, swing a great hammer, huh? I'm not so bad with one myself. This is private property. It's not open to the public. Oh, well, we, we didn't know that. Uh, I I'm sorry, Di, I, I didn't mean it like that. Well, no, that. it's okay. It's just that, um, you know, with all the chemicals and the tools lying around, it, uh, oh, it's kind of dangerous, so. Right. Well, just so you know, we didn't mean any harm. That's okay. It's just, um, you know, I wouldn't want anybody to get hurt. Jay, uh, maybe we should go. <laughs> right. All right. Hey, um, thanks for setting me straight, Zachary. Appreciate it. It won't ever happen again. By the way, if you guys, uh, get hungry, want to sink your teeth into some, uh, great hamburgers, we got a whole bunch of them down on the beach, uh, just waiting for the right flip. All right, thanks. See ya. See ya, Bye. Michelle. Bye. What was that? What? Well, you and that guy, Jay. Why do you want to know? Why don't you want to tell me? Woo! Would you look at that? Did you see that, reception? I saw, but I'd much rather look at you. <laughs> hey. You're not mad at me, are you? Nah. Nah, I'm not mad at you. Why would I be? You were honest with me. Besides, we're gonna have a baby. I want you to be as happy about it as I am. Well, it won't be long, I promise you. Well, in the meantime, there's no harm in planning, right? So how many? How many what? How many children? Ten. Ten? Uh, Twelve. And it's cheaper by the dozen, right? Didn't they write something about that? Ah, it's a lot of help you're gonna need from me, isn't it? Well, Thirteen would be unlucky. Uh, and definitely bad judgment. Besides, we don't have any room on the boat. <laughs> You're right. And ten it is. Okay. Ten it is. But wait, we're gonna not be able to fit ten kids on the boat, right? I mean, <laughs> Did I just say that? Did I just say that? We're gonna need a house. Your dream house? You know that yellow one with the, the picket fence in the yard? that make you happy? If it would make you happy, it makes me happy. Whatever's right for you is right for me. Why don't we start looking, yeah? Well, you know me in the Sunday real estate section. Forget the real estate section. Get a broker. In fact, get ten brokers. Tell them price is not an issue. You really, you really, really, really want me to look Really, this really, house? yes. <laughs> yes, I love you. Uh, no, Dad. Actually, I was the one that wasn't fair with you. You told me that you didn't set me up, and I didn't believe you. Well, you had every reason to mistrust me, Philip, and now I think it's time that we got yeah, things you know, in the open okay so that you. we could... It's okay with you. I, I, I would really like to try to just put this behind us. You know, I've, uh, I've already lost my wife. I don't want to lose the rest of my family. Maybe it's not too late for you and Beth. I mean, I will do everything in my power, Philip, to help you get back together if... I appreciate that, Dan, but I think that's uh, probably even more than you can accomplish. But thanks. That, that means a lot. You mean a lot to me, Philip. I wish there was some way I could convince you of that. Well, maybe we can convince each other. Maybe if we try to give it a real chance. Can you start over? You know, somewhere behind all the stuff that we've done to each other and all the bull that uh, we're so fond of slinging uh, is my father. And I would like to find him again. I'd like to love him again. Hello. 
up, I need you to know that nothing or no one means as much to me as you do. I love you deeply, son. Well, we've <laughs> come a long way today, haven't we? We've got a ways to go, but... Uh... Yeah, we do, but you know what? This feels different. I feel like maybe... God, Dad, maybe this time we can finally get there. That would make me very happy. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Well, this is unusual. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, uh... Oh, hell, you know what? I feel good enough, I think I could even cut Amanda a break. Really? seen a side of her that's not terribly pretty, but I guess I owe her something for digging up the letter that proved you didn't set me up. Well, between you and me, I don't think she should have interfered at all. Yeah, well, I'm still glad she did. Oh. Um, what? Just so quiet in here. I was a, a little bit worried. Is everything okay? <laughs> yes. What? No, it's, it's okay. What? It's better than okay. Oh. Better than okay. Yeah. Come here, yeah. <laughs> this is... For the first time in a very long time, Dad and I are on the same page. Well, <laughs> I say we celebrate, huh? I second that. <laughs> uh, Alan, would you care to make it unanimous? Well, we still have a few things uh, to talk about. We but, uh, there's never a last word go. in this house because everyone in this house wants the last word. So, Philip, let's go down to the wine cellar. Let's oh. let you pick out your favorite Lafayette. I've got a bone to pick with you. What? Before I left, I left a bottle of Lafayette in the corner. Yes, and if I'm not mistaken, then it's exactly in the same place you left it. The wonders never <laughs> cease. <laughs> You couldn't do it, could you? You couldn't disappoint your first son. You don't understand. Oh, Amanda. I understand perfectly, Father. No more excuses, please. It's your turn to listen to me. So Michelle seemed pretty ticked, right? Yeah, well, not at you. She's mad at me. Why is she mad at you? Well, things didn't work out so well between us. That's all. Oh, so you and Michelle were seeing each other. Well, I guess you could say that. I mean, see, it was kind of one-sided. I'm the kind of guy who wants a little bit of a commitment. And Michelle's... she's young. It's not really her fault. It's just she hasn't been around that much. You know? Everybody goes through that, you know, kind of immature stage. <sighs> Michelle, I don't know. She seems pretty together, you know. Oh, well, I thought so at first, too. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not bagging on her. She's as nice as they come. It's just, you know, Dahlia, there's got to be, there's got to be more between a guy and a girl than just plain old physical attraction. There's got to be mutual respect, caring. I don't know. That's, that's just the way I see it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. See that star up there? Mm -hmm. If I could make a wish on that, you know what I, you know what I wish? Oh, you're not supposed to tell me what you'd wish or won't come true. No, that's if I'm superstitious. I'm not. Uh, Besides, I, I want you to know. Okay. Well, then, what would you wish? I'd wish I could mm -hmm. find someone I could really connect with. Oh God, that sounds corny. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'd wish I could find. A soulmate. I don't think that's corny. That's beautiful. Yeah? Yeah. Well, then, here's to dreams coming true and soulmates. <laughs> you know, you can tell me just about anything. Well, there's not much to tell. There's mu not much to Jay, period. Well, he seemed like a charming guy. Yeah, well, he is. He's charming and good-looking and funny and all that, but that's it. It's over. Oh, that's okay. You can leave it. Oh. Um, so he wanted more than you wanted to give? 
Yeah. Something like that. He just thinks I'm a kid. Or a prude. Or both. Yeah, well, I think he's a jerk. Really? Yeah. How does that line go? If you really care about me, you sleep with me, right? Or you're too young, or you're too immature. Yeah. Well, the real guy, a gentleman, he has a push. Yeah, well, I don't know too many guys who feel that way. Or if they do, I'm sure they wouldn't risk looking uncool enough to say it. <laughs> well, luckily, you ran into a guy who doesn't care about looking cool. Yeah, it is.